And welcome inside the 2015 Buick Encore all-wheel drive. I'm Dave Erickson here at the 2015 Northwest Outdoor Activity Vehicle of the Year competition. We're at an airstrip, closed course. We're gonna be doing four different testing criteria today, and that's gonna be parking, slalom through cones, a brake test, about 40 miles per hour, then we're gonna slam on the brakes, and then we're gonna do a acceleration test, zero to 50-ish or so, and see how this handles. Now, under the hood of this vehicle is a 1.4 liter Ecotech Turbo mated to a six-speed automatic transmission. Again, all-wheel drive. And this gets 23 miles per gallon in the city and 30 on the highway projected for a mixed number of 26. So let's go ahead and start this baby up. Put her in drive. Let's roll. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below what you think of this interior and center stack. Up top, we have a seven inch color screen. Actually looks smaller than that, but it is seven inches. And then all your buttons and options down below with climate control, navigation, uh, heat seaters, seat heaters, haha, <laughs> get that one right. Uh, we also have lane departure warning or something along those lines. I'm not sure the terminology, but that's what that is. Let's take a look at the instrument cluster. Pretty basic, professional. Got your information in the center for speed. Now, let's take a look at the steering wheel mounted controls. Bluetooth technology over here on the right hand side. Cruise control here on the left hand side. Some menu options on this uh, turn indicator right here, which goes for the center. There we go. All right, what do you think? Leave your comments below. After a closer look, this infotainment system is really sharp looking. Look at the colors there and all the individual icons. That's really cool. That's something you would really want to explore later when you're testing it. All right, it is time for our first test here. And this first test is a parking test. We're gonna back uh, test the backup camera and also the sensors that may be around the vehicle. Now these sensors should go off if they see an obstruction or some danger in some of our blind spots or maybe on the each end of the bumper. So we'll get in position here and give you a closer look at the backup camera as we do that. All right, we'll put her in reverse. We are in reverse and there are our sight lines. And we're, we've got cones on either side of us and we also have a blow up uh, T-Rex dinosaur behind us. Let's see if there's any alarms go off. Good deal. How close can I get? Oh, there he is. Run, run, run. Jurassic Park. Good stuff. All right, time for some cones. All right, this test, ladies and gentlemen, going between cones around 20, 25 miles per hour. I've got high hopes for this one. Kind of a compact here. Well, that's good, nice handling. I can really feel the road. Oh, this is a good size for this kind of test. Oh, this is excellent. Oh, take note. All right, we're gonna brake at 40 miles per hour and see how quickly we can brake. And go. Abrupt, violent, but uh, right on par with other compact vehicles in this segment on the stopping distance. So that's good. Final test is acceleration. Let's see what this teeny tiny engine can do. Three, two, one, go. Not a lot. <laughs> Uh, about 5,500 RPM, we're 40, 45. That's as far as we're gonna go. I don't think, we, we maybe got up to 50 miles per hour. So that concludes our four testing criteria today on this closed course, parking, slalom, braking, and acceleration. We're gonna have an entire playlist dedicated to this on our YouTube channel, and tomorrow we go off-road in these vehicles from the 2015 Northwest Outdoor Activity Vehicle of the Year competition. That is a mouthful. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We're uploading tons of videos all the time. And I don't want you to miss anything. I appreciate your support. And thank you for subscribing. I'm Dave Erickson. We'll see you next time. <laughs>